G'day everyone! I am finally back to working on the bus after so many weeks away. Feels really good to be back and I'm looking forward to making some more progress now. The next job that I'm going to be doing is actually for this one. <laughs> this is Pepper for those of you who don't know. So I'm going to be building a platform in this area at the front of the bus in the cab in front of my passenger seat and so it will give Peppa a bed that she can kind of use during the day. She likes to sit up the front here and look out the, the windscreen at the goings on outside. So this will give her a nice comfortable area where she can hang out during the day if it's not too hot. I obviously won't be leaving her up here in the front all the time because this area will get quite hot if it's in the sun. So this will basically be a kind of a day use area for her I guess for when it's not too hot and it will also be somewhere where she can sit while we're traveling. So let's get started. So this is the front area of my bus. My passenger seat is actually set quite a way back. That's how the bus came originally. So what I'm going to be doing is creating a platform in this area here so that she's got a nice flat area where I can put her bed um, and she can travel there. And that will also hopefully create a little bit of storage underneath so that I can store things like, you know, her, her extra bedding and dog towels and things like that underneath there. Um, and I want to build it fairly simply so that it's strong enough to hold her weight but that I can easily lift it out when I want to get to the stuff that I've got stored under there. So you can see I've already fixed this piece of pine uh, here. This is a piece of ordinary uh, pine framing timber so it's 70 by 35 millimeters and I've actually screwed that um, through my plywood wall here into the metal frame inside the wall so it's pretty secure it's well and truly secured on there and I've screwed it at that height so that what I'm planning to do now is cut a big sheet of ply that will rest on top of this and across over to sit on top of the engine hatch here and what I'm thinking is to build in a little bit of an extra frame that will sit in this area here that the ply can be supported by. The ply will be able to rest on top of all of that and it should be pretty well supported and be able to hold her weight. Okay, so I've made up this kind of a frame. I've just used 42 by 19 mil pine. Um, so it's fairly lightweight, but it's pretty strong and sturdy. So that just sits in there like that. I'm not going to be fixing this into the floor or anything because at the back here underneath, if I take this out, underneath the dash there, like that's a fuse box there. This is the bottle for the windscreen washing fluid. So I need to be able to access that from time to time. So I didn't want to be having anything like this fixed in place so I couldn't get to those. So that's actually just going to sit there like that. I mean, it's, you can't go anywhere when I'm driving. And now what I'm going to do is cut a sheet of ply that's going to sit over the top of this, over the top of that frame and out onto this. So that will hopefully be enough to support it. The first thing I need to do is just cut a template because obviously I'm going to have to cut this piece of ply to a bit of a curve at the front here to match the curve on the dash. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make a template so I can get the shape of that curve and then I'll be able to cut that out of my sheet of ply. So that's my template and that's roughly the shape of the curve on the dash So now I can go and put this down on my ply sheet and cut it out So this is what I'm going to be using for the platform for Pepper's bed. It's actually 12 mil ply um, That's been painted and I actually pulled this off the 
first bus I had, the big bus, it actually had a couple of these sheets boarding up some of the windows at the back of the bus and I took them off in the process of stripping it out and I've kept them all this time um, so it's good that I'm going to be able to put this one at least to some use now. So I'm just going to put my template on this to cut the curve out for the front um, and cut it to size and hopefully it will just sit in the area nicely. some pieces off an old foam mattress that we had laying in the shed to create a bit of a temporary bed for Pepper. If it turns out that this works well and she likes it then I might look at getting a proper cushion made to fit this area a bit better but for now this will do. I guess now it's time to get the inspector in and see what she thinks. What do you think Peppa? Is it, not, is it good? Is it past inspection? That's nice, hey? Well, I think the bed gets Peppa's seal of approval. She seems to like it and it's comfy enough. And I think it'll be great for her to just have this space that she can come and um, hang out if she wants to during the day. Um, I'm just not sure what to do about when we're driving. Um, I originally had the idea that I was just going to attach the lead from her harness to um, around to the side of the seat here where it's bolted into the wall but I'm not really sure that's going to work well and the amount of lead that I would have to attach to her to be able to turn around and stuff means that it's not going to stop her flying through the windscreen if we get in an accident so I'm going to have to have a bit more of a think about what to do and how to make her safe when we're traveling but if you've got any thoughts let me know in the comments below I do have this space here at the front of the bus behind the driver's seat that's still free. I was actually planning to put a wardrobe here with a little bit of hanging space and then um, plenty of shelves and that for storage. But I could turn this lower half at least into like a dog crate area so that I can actually um, close it off so she can be sort of a bit safer in there and restrained in there while we're driving. Yeah, so back to the drawing board with that. <laughs> I'll have to have a bit more of a think about that. But I'm pretty happy with this bed platform as it is at the moment. It makes good use of what is otherwise pretty unusable area. And it does give me a bit of storage underneath for some of her bedding and things. So that's good. And it will be a great place for her to, to hang out during the day if it's not too hot. I just need to sort out what I'm going to do for her when we're traveling. So now it's time to give you the answer to the question that I asked at the end of my last video. So as you know, I had the bus weighed last week just to get a sense of how my build's going and how much weight I'm adding with all the timber that I'm putting into the bus. So, and I asked the question of you guys what you thought the bus would weigh. So I last had the bus weighed um, last year when I, after I'd fully stripped it out and just replaced the floor. So the bus was completely empty. It didn't even have the passenger seat or the spare tire on board at that time. And back then the bus weighed 3,120 kilos all up. So this time when I had the bus weighed, obviously since then I've put the passenger seat back in, I've put the spare tire back in, I have did all that sound deadening and carpet in the cab area, I insulated and lined the ceiling and the walls, uh, put my two roof fans in the roof um, and I've built all of the stuff inside and with all that extra stuff that I've added, the bus came in at... 
3,500 kilos exactly. So you guys that commented were actually pretty close in a lot of cases. So the bus weighs 3,500 kilos. My GVM as it stands at the moment is 4,990 kilos. So that still gives me a little under one and a half ton to play with, which sounds like a lot, but it's quite scary how quickly things add up. And I still have a lot of stuff to put in this bus. I reckon I'm probably about two thirds of the way done in terms of like the amount of cabinetry and actual furniture I want to build inside the bus. So there's still a little bit to add there. And then of course there's the weight of everything else that I'm adding. So there's my solar panels, all the electrical gear, which actually adds up to quite a bit of weight with, ba with the batteries and you know the inverter and everything. There are water tanks um, and then you have to consider the amount of water that's in them as well because water weighs quite a bit. And there's all the things like my fridge, I've got a composting toilet, I've got a couple of sinks, appliances, pots and pans, clothing, camera gear, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be overweight, but I do think it's going to be pretty tight. So I'm still going to have to be careful and try and keep things as lightweight as I possibly can. Um, I will get the bus weighed periodically as I'm going just to keep an eye on the progress and make sure I'm not going over. Um, but so far it seems to be going okay.